dear students i extend a warm welcome to all of you myself dr sandesh naik assistant professor in commerce and ncc army in charge in this presentation i will introduce you about national cadet corps in india ncc was raised with an aim of grooming both the boys and girls nurture them and direct their energy towards nation building by making them responsible citizens the ncc organization conduct different type of activities and the main aim of these activities is to develop oral personality of cadets so that they will become responsible citizens ncc was established in india by passing act in parliament so on 15 july 1948 act was passed and ncc army was established after that in the year 1949 girls division of ncc was raised then in the year 1950 air wing was added to ncc unit and in the year 1952 naval wing was raised so this is how the ncc formed in india aims of ncc to develop following qualities in the cadets to develop a good character to develop ethical values among cadets to develop quality of comradeship it means developing friendship among cadets to achieve common goal to develop self discipline among cadets and this discipline can be in any field then secular outlook to give equal treatment to all citizens to develop adventure qualities among cadets then ideals of selfless service to serve the society to undertake social activities for the betterment then to provide leadership in all walks of life who will serve the nation regardless of which career they choose so when cadets take part in ncc activities then leadership qualities can be developed through by participating in these activities then to provide an environment conducive to motivating young indians to choose arm force as a career to give introduction to give knowledge about the career opportunities available in ens army ncc is a platform organization of ncc ncc is a voluntary organization if you wish to join you can join this organization so the ncc is under the control of ministry of defense of government of india so defense minister and defense secretary they are the overall in charge or they are the head of ncc organization under them there are at present there are total 17 directorates located in the state capital so all over india we have total 17 directorates including of army navy and air force we have total 17 directorates 
so this directorate are headed by major general or brigadier or equivalent officer post under directorate we are having ncc unit so in goa we have one goa battalion unit which is the under the control of goa karnataka directorate so this ncc unit are headed either by colonel or lieutenant colonel or any equivalent officer post so under ncc unit the colleges that is army wings of colleges they are coming under ncc unit so this is the structure of ncc now coming to the incentives to cadets if you join ncc what are the different incentives are available there are two type of certificates one is b certificate and c certificate so who are eligible for c certificate examination those who are having b certificate they are eligible for c certificate so ncc at senior level at senior division is of 3 years first year second year and third year so when you will reach in second year you are eligible to answer b certificate examination so to answer b certificate examination you should have a 75% attendance because we take parade as well as the classes so you should have a minimum 75% attendance to eligible for b certificate examination and also you should attend one atc that is annual training camp so these are the eligibility criteria to answer b certificate examination so when you when you reach in sy second year you are eligible for b certificate examination when you will reach in ty you are eligible to answer c certificate examination but to answer c certificate examination you should have b certificate you should have 75 percent attendance and you should attend one camp so these are the eligibility criteria now what are the benefits of having c certificate you will get the specific vacancies in army air force and navy okay if you are having c certificate with a a grade that is important so for officers there is no upsc written exam so after once you apply for officer post the cadet will be called for ssb that is service selection board interview and these are the benefits available like in army 100 seats per year are available for a man and 10% for a woman in case of navy if you want to do career in navy six six seats per course and in air force 10% vacancies in all courses then in addition to the previous points you also get some benefit in terms of marks so 5 to 10% bonus marks for recruitment in ranks in army navy and air force so when you apply for a post and when you are answering written examination as well as the interview you are getting some additional points so there are bonus marks are available if you are having c certificate with a a grade you can also apply for a gadgeted post in crpf then in certain states the preference is also given in state service and private sector so private sector multinational companies corporate sector they are also having the reservation quota for ncc cadets so you can also join corporate sector or you can say in multinational companies if you are having ncc certificates like b certificate and c certificate in goa recently last year at uh, this year sorry uh, government introduced special benefit to ncc cadets so there was some relaxation in marks in police uh, recruitment so you are getting the benefit if you are having this certificates then coming to the advantages of being a cadet so what are the advantages you will get if you being if you become a cadet of army or navy 
the first of all is the you will become a part of more than 13 lakh strong and the largest youth organization in the world so it will it is like a proud moment for you that you will become a part of one of the largest youth organization in the world then it will also being molded into a disciplined and motivated youth you will become a self discipline motivated youth then you will also get an opportunity to take part in disaster relief work or social activities and you will also get an opportunity to visit foreign countries as a part of youth exchange program so if you have a talent if you are ready to put uh, your efforts if you are ready to give your best you will get an opportunity to visit foreign countries under youth exchange program you will also get opportunity to attend ncc camps like annual training camp combined annual training camp there are different camps are available so just going to the ncc camps there are these are the different camps available like atc annual training camp it is of 8 to 10 days camp you, where you will get opportunity to interact with different ncc officers then leadership camp where the main focus on developing leadership qualities then we are having thal sainik camp nau sainik camp then republic day camp it is almost for a month and it is the biggest opportunity to become a part of republic day parade at new De new delhi so opportunities are available if you put your best then rock climbing camp if you are interested in adventure activities you can also take part in rock climbing camp if you are good in a cultural activities if you want to showcase your talent if you want to showcase your culture to other states you can take part in ek bharat shreshtha bharat camp where the objective is to have a cultural exchange then all india tracks so these are the different camps available for cadets and these camps are conducted throughout the year so these are the, some of the pictures of the atc camps the, if you uh, see the left side okay this was recently uh, this year in the month of february we had a atc camp at st xavier college so you get demo so during this training session we give practical demo as well as we also conduct classes right side of your screen you will see the picture of republic day parade at new delhi so if you put your hard work opportunities are available you can participate in addition to the training sessions and atc camp we also conduct so many activities like cleaning so recently we had a cleaning activity at mapsa gandhi circle under swachh bharat abhiyan then feed india movement program we also took part in this so this is our team okay so at dm's college we have ncc navy and ncc army so you can take either ncc navy or ncc army for details you can contact me my number is 9049598864 or you can contact lieutenant dr uday singh rani if you want to join ncc navy wing his number is 9422444 9184 so thank you very much